Hello everyone! First of all, I would like to thank you for watching my videos and for donating to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate your support. And today I wanted to show you how you can very easily turn your 2D logo into 3D in DaVinci Resolve Fusion and also how you can animate it. This is the result. And this tutorial is very easy and suitable even for the beginners. Let's start! And we are in the Fusion tab and I've already brought in here two DaVinci Resolve logos so I can decide which one I want to animate. So let's place it in the right viewer. This is the round one and this is the square one. I think I will go with the round one as I prefer it. So I can just get rid of the other one. And the first thing we have to do is to place the logo in the 3D space. And in order to do it, we need a node called Image Plane 3D. So I will highlight my logo. I will hit Shift Space to bring up my tools. And I will search for the Image Plane tool. And when I hit Add, it will automatically attach to our logo. And when I place it in the right viewer, the logo is shown in the 3D space. And we can go here to the Transform tab and we can rotate it if we want to. Basically, we can move it around in the 3D space. But now let's not hesitate, let's just turn it into 3D. So we'll need another node called Duplicate 3D. And this time I'll highlight the Image Plane 3D node. I will bring up my tools again and I'll search for the Duplicate 3D node. And now I'll place this node in the right viewer to be able to see what I'm doing. And the goal is to make this logo thicker. And it's very simple to do. So first we have to change the number of copies over here. Let's do 200 for example. And nothing has changed yet, as this is because we have to change the Z offset over here. So when I move the slider back and forth, our copies also move, but the gap between them is too big. So I figured out that the best setting for the Z offset is 0.002. And voila. The logo looks 3D now, but let's another node which will be a transform 3D node that will allow us to animate it in different ways. And let's place it in the right viewer. And here with the rotation Y slider, we can rotate it around. And actually I think that the logo is a bit too thick, so let me change the number of copies to 100. Okay, much better. And now when our node graph is ready, it's also very important to remember that we need a renderer node as we won't be able to connect our nodes with the media out node without the renderer 3D node. I will show you. You see, it's not possible and many people are trying to do it. So let's grab the renderer 3D node first. And now we can connect the render with the media out node. And when we place the media out node in the viewer, we are able to see our logo in the 2D space. And now let's animate the logo quickly. So let's go back to the transform 3D node. And maybe I'll place it again in the right viewer and I'll disconnect it from the renderer as I want to be again in the 3D space. Okay, and here maybe I'll make it a bit smaller. And I want to add some movement, so let's go to the first frame. Then let's set the Y rotation back to zero again. And I will set a keyframe next to it. Then I'll go to the last frame and I will set it to 540. And this is how our animation looks. And now let's see how it looks in the 2D space. So I'll connect my nodes back together. And here there's one more very important thing to remember. As, as you can see, the renderer node is all the time working, rendering the composition after every change we make. And it takes a very long time sometimes. But to speed it up, we can click on the renderer node. And then when we change the renderer type from software renderer to OpenGL renderer, it will work way faster. And now we can watch our animation with no issues. Okay, so now let's move to the Edit tab and let's add the background behind the logo. So I'll move it onto the second track, then I can go here to my toolbox, then Generators, and I can grab a solid color for example, but I also can search for the gradient. 
and let's click on it. And then here, I would change the colors quickly. And you are ready to see the final result full screen. Thank you so much for watching my videos guys, I hope that you like them. If you do, hit subscribe and don't forget to leave a comment below. See you soon.